So, you finally grew yourself a pair and decided to use the best character for the whole roster of Skullgirls. Well, it's about fucking time. Why is Beowulf the best character? You're probably asking yourself this right now. Well, of course you're asking yourself, because you don't know what it feels like to have the power of the greatest fucking hero this side of Mike Hagar's left testicle. This wrestling piece of wolf cake's based off the most epic English hero of all time, and his secret tool is his last opponent's fucking arm. Do you really want to mess with a man who carries someone else's 120-inch python in his pants? I didn't think so. Beowulf's got every fucking tool in the book. It's called the hurting. It fucking hurts! Makes a great pillow for your opponents to get their face smashed on. Oh! 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 Opponent thinks it's smart to jump in. Ha! Hit that sucker with an airwolf out of nowhere. They're so free for this move, they should be paying you to finish that combo. What's that? You don't think Beowulf has pressure? You ever pressured someone from full screen without even touching him? Fucking press a button, I fucking dare you. Fucking press a button. Scrub. Feel like a big man? Be a bigger man and dump the fucking chair! Grab those fuckers for days! Speaking of grabs, Beowulf's grab game is more fucking lethal than King and Tekken. Get grabbed! Get grabbed! Get grabbed! And when he's done grabbing you, he might give you some headbutts and knee to guts. Just remind you who the fuck the man is around here. Pro tip, it's him! And the grabs don't stop there! Motherfucking 360 grab hyper? Wolfomania's running a train on your ass! Oh, you think your taunt is cute? Ha! This motherfucker has four taunts, and one of them just used for walking backwards. This motherfucker is the champion of the NWO. He's 31 years of WrestleMania bundled up into one ass kicking, flea bitten Monday Night War Zone. So the next time you're thinking about picking a character to play on Skullgirls, slap yourself before picking Parasol or Double, and do yourself a favor. And now back to your regularly scheduled programming of Annie of the Stones.